Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about kitchen planners. So this is I think the fifth or sixth video in the dermatology series. If you want to watch the other videos, you can go to the dermatology playlist and you'll be able to take history examination, understanding skin lesions, psoriasis, acne, erythroderma, and we have recent planners here. So what is lichen planus? Lichen planus is an acute or chronic inflammatory dermatosis involving the skin and or mucous membranes. Worldwide occurrence incidence is less than 1% in all races. So what is it characterized by? It's characterized by flat chopped, which is Latin planus, as you can see the name, lichen planus. It is what? Flat, pink to violaceous, which is pink to purple, shiny, pruritic, polygonal, black papules. The features of the lesions have been designated as the four P's, papule, purple, polygonal, pruritic. So the distribution of lichen planus is a predilection for the flexural aspects of arms and legs, and it can become generalized. In the mouth, milky white reticulated papules may become erosive and even ulcerate. The main symptom is pruritus, which is what basically itching in the mouth and may also lead to pain. Then the therapy is topical and systemic glucocorticoid cyclosporin. So this was basically a brief overview. Let's get to more details. So what's the epidemiology and etiology? So age of onset is 30 to 60 years. So if we say 30 to 60, it does not mean a person that's 29 years old cannot get it. However, it's very rare. So the common age group is what? 30 to 60 years. Then the sex, it's females are more affected compared to males. Then risk hypertrophic lichen planus is more common in blacks. Etiology. So in most cases, it, it's idiopathic. However, the pathogenesis that has been known is that Cell-mediated immunity plays a major role. So majority of lymphocytes in the infiltrate are CD8 plus and CD45 memory cells. Drugs, metals such as gold, mercury, or infections such as hepatitis C virus result in alteration in cell-mediated immunity. Please take note of hepatitis C virus infection. So where this hepatitis C virus infection, they're predisposed to what? Lichen planus development. There could be actual associated genetic susceptibility that would explain a predisposition in certain persons. Lichenoid lesions of chronic graft versus host disease of skin are indistinguishable from those of LP. Clinical manifestation onset is acute, it may take days or insidious, it may take over weeks. Lesions last month, two years, Asymptomatic or pruritic, sometimes severe pruritus. I hope we know pruritus means itching. Mucous membrane lesions are painful, especially when ulcerated. So how do the skin lesions appear? So there'll be papules. So what are papules? You need to know that papules are what? Less than elevated lesions, less than one centimeter. Flat topped, one to 10 millimeters, sharply defined, shiny. So what are you going to see? You're going to see papules, which will have a flat top. They will be one to 10 millimeters. As we already said, papules are what? Less than one centimeter. They'll be sharply defined, which is well circumscribed and shiny. Then there'll be violaceous, which is purplish with white lines, which we commonly call Wickham stria. And please take note of this, as this is very common in exam questions, whereby they may ask you in what condition do we see Wickham stria. I think we'll be able to see a diagram that's going to show this very clearly. It's seen best with hand lens after application of mineral oil. Then they may be polygonal or oval, grouped, annular or disseminated, scattered, discrete lesions when generalized. In dark skin individuals, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is common. They may present on lips and in a linear arrangement after trauma, which is commonly known as cobna or isomorphic phenomena. So what is this? This is basically when an area gets what what we can use trauma yeah so they are likely to develop lichen planus lesions there so that's what cobner phenomena is so basically an area that has a trauma that's where they're likely to develop more sites of predilection so race on the flex aspect lumbar region shins on the thick so lumbar region shins they from thicker hyperkeratotic lesions scalp glands penis and the mouth so there are variants of lichen planus. There's hypertrophic, atrophic, follicular, vesicular, and pigmentosus. Sorry, not and. There's actinicus and ulcerative. 
So this is a diagram that's showing glitch and planners. So remember we talked about the Wickham strayer? Yes, so the arrow here is pointing towards the Wickham strayer. You can see the straight white lines. So flat dot polygonal sharply defined papules of violaceous color grouped and confluent surface is shiny and upon close inspection with the hand lens, fine white lines are revealed, which is what we can see Then this is a close up of flat top shiny violaceous papules that are polygonal. Mucous membranes. So 40 to 60% of individuals with lichen planus have oropharyngeal involvement. So this reticular lichen planus, which is reticulate net like pattern of lazy white hyperkeratosis on buccal mucosa, lips, tongue, gingiva. The most common pattern of oral lichen planus is what reticular lichen planus. Then this erosive or ulcerative lichen planus. Superficial erosion with or without overlying fibrin clot occurs on tongue and buccal mucosa. Shiny red painful erosion of gingiva, which is discomitic gingivitis or lips. Carcinoma may very rarely develop in mouth lesions. So there's a possibility of carcinoma developing. However, it's very rare. Genitalia, papule agmented annular or erosive lesions arise on the penis, especially glands, scrotum, labia majora, labia minora, and the vagina. On the hair, under hair and nerves, this the scalp can get follicular lichen planus, atrophic scalp skin with scarring alopecia. Then under the nails, destruction of nail fold and nail bed with longitudinal splintering. Under lab examination, dermatopathology. Inflammation with hyperkeratosis, increased granular layer, irregular acanthosis, liquefaction, degeneration of the basal cell layer, and band like mononuclear infiltrate that helps the epidermis. Then, this creatinocyte apoptosis, which is called severe bodies, is found at the dermal epidermal junction. This direct immunofluorescence reveals heavy deposits of fibrin at the junction and IgM and less frequently IgA, IgG, and C3 in the collie bodies. The cause, cutaneous lichen planus usually persists for months, but in some cases for years, hypertrophic lichen planus on the shins and oral lichen planus often for decades. So cutaneous for months, but in some cases for years, then hypertrophic on the shins and oral then for decades, many more than 10 years, the incidence of oral squamous cell carcinoma in individuals with oral lichen planus is increased to 5%. Patients should be followed up at regular intervals. Management of lichen planus, local therapy, you give glucocorticoids, topical glucocorticoids with occlusion for cutaneous lesions, then cyclosporin and tacrolimus solutions, so retention mouthwash for severely symptomatic oral lichen planus. Then under systemic therapy, we've got cyclosporin. In very resistant and generalized cases, 5 mg per kg per day will induce rapid remission. However, quite often not followed by recurrence. Glucocorticoids, oral prednisolone is effective for individuals with symptomatic priorities, painful erosions, dysphagia, or cosmetic disfigurement. Systemic retinoid acetretin. 1 mg per kg per day is helpful as adjunctive measure in severe cases, but usually additional topical treatment is required. Then this PUPA, phototherapy, this is done in individuals with generalized lichen planus or cases resistant to topical therapy. Under other treatments, we have got mycophenolate, morphetyl, heparin analogs, which is enoxaparin in low doses, have antiproliferative and immunomodulatory properties. Then another drug you can use is azathioprine. So this is a diagram showing hypertrophic lichen planus. So there are confluent hyperkeratotic papules and plaques on the dorsum of the hand. So papules, these are papules, you can see. Then plagues are these ones. So plagues are greater than one centimeter and papules less than one centimeter. Then this hyperkeratosis covers the Wickham stria. So because of the hyperkeratosis, you are not able to appreciate the Wickham stria and the characteristic violaceous color of the lesions can be seen only at the very margin. So let me use the cursor. Yeah, so you can see on the margins, you're able to see a purplish color. However, on the center, you're unable to appreciate that.
Then the second diagram hypertrophic lichen planus on the lower leg of a 50 year old man. So the lesions have formed thin plaques of a dark brown violaceous color and they have a hyperkeratotic surface. Are you able to notice? So they are plaques, violaceous color, and they have a hyperkeratotic surface. So these are a few agents that can induce lichen planus and lichenoid reactions. Disseminated lichen planus, a shower of disseminated papules on the trunk and the extremities in a 45-year-old Filipino. Due to the ethnic color of the skin, the papules are not as violaceous as in Caucasian, but that but they have a brownish hue. So if you look at these papules, you're unable to see the violaceous color. However, they look more brown. So the reason this is that way, it's because of the ethnic color of the skin. In Asians, they are more visible. So this is the predilection set. Remember we talked about them, the mouth, the nails, the genitals, and the flexor surfaces. Etc. Then this is another diagram that shows silvery white confluent flap top papules on the lips here. Then another thing is B, lichen planus, corpno phenomena, linear arrangement of flat top shiny papules that erupted after scratching. So remember we said corpno phenomena is they develop after some trauma. So here they developed after scratching. So that's all about Legion Planet. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.